Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We start off today with a very easy thing. We are currently in a Great Holy War and we need to win it. Uh, we would ideally like to get the trait for being in a Great Holy War, which we don't currently have, but, you know, the game doesn't seem to be offering that to us, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, you know what I might do? Let's switch you in charge and let's switch us in charge. Let's just change commander. So we've really reloaded the game, changed commander, and let's choose somewhere to go like here. And we'll just see how this goes. Yeah, wonderful. Here, harsh judgment. So this is a potential heir, yeah. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son, Baze, what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. We would like you to be temperate, all things in moderation. Wonderful. Let's go. Okay, and over here. Um, can we catch them? Nope. Let's head in here then. We are a little bit starving, but that's okay. We can be a little bit starving. That's fine. Uh, another court now speaks Arabic. Oh, talking of that, uh, do you want to throw this person in jail? My court physician is plotting against my caravan master. No, I don't care. Um, people were asking what this uh, land is here. This is Ashari land now. This used to be Georgia, but I think this is what remains of Georgia. Um, it's not a lot. Yeah, Georgia kind of fell apart. We're not going to worry about that, though. <laughs> we're going to uh, live and let live with that. Okay. Your neighbor won against your other neighbor in the caucus claim on some land. Okay. That's fine. Wait a second. Oh. Um, the, these are the, uh, this is the people we're fighting. So your neighbor, Okuz, won against your other neighbor, Bula, in their claim on the county of Tmutur Khan. Ah. So, even while they're in this great holy war, they still be up, um, yeah, the Bulaid uh, Khanate. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely not doing well at all. Hey, we want, we want a siege. Wonderful. Can we, uh, give people away for money? We ran some 11 characters, that's okay. Apparently we're gonna fight somebody here. That's good. Nope, they backed off. That's all fine. We have too few concubines? Did somebody die? Maybe. I, I could believe that. Or left. Uh, we'll need to figure out what we're uh, doing with that after the war. Alright, let's head down this way. We've gained a favor hook on somebody. That's fine. Um, clear out that. So let's have a look. Offer concubine. No. <laughs> uh, head here. Go back to sieging. Wait, are you actually fighting over here? Oh, I'll go fight if you're fighting. We're pregnant again with our husband's child, which is fantastic. Uh, you finished your education. You are a great eminence. Wonderful news. But unfortunately, I was going to say you're off to join the Byzant uh, the Byzantines in the Varangian Guard. But um, are you chasing in here? I think you're chasing in here. Yeah, we're going to catch him. Perfect. Go join in. Um, yeah, we have to wait till we're out of war before we can send them to the Varengian Guard, apparently. Right. Won another battle. Captured some more people. We finished promote culture in cyber. Okay, prisoners died in my dungeon. That's okay. And we get another one of these. Let's grab mental resilience. Wonderful. Clear out the list. That's uh, just saying our son can marry, but we don't want him to marry just yet. Let's get some more ransoms done, get ourselves some more money. Uh, and I want to send you to convert the culture somewhere else. So you converted that one. We have some late Norse here. Did I convert that? I don't think I converted this, right? I don't remember doing that. That's them doing it themselves. It's crazy. Occasionally, the AI will do things on their own. Um... So we already converted your capital, so I'm just trying to figure out what land we got here, which is why I keep switching between map modes. Although I did miss what map mode I should be in here. Uh, how about over here? Yeah, this Polish land. How about instead of you being Polish, you were instead uh, my culture? 
late north. That's fine. Right, where are we? Over here. Right, head head down this way. It's fine, although we could actually do with a little bit of uh, recharging our troops. Set up this way instead. If we can kill this army, we might be able to recharge our, or resupply our troops up here. Which would be good. Uh, coveted claim. Um, you're all, all Alvar wants our claims. Uh, I'm going to write to her at once. You've softened her. Okay, that's good. We need a new marshal. What well suggested that we got a new marshal in the comments, actually. We, I just didn't get around to it yet. Uh, you seem pretty good. Yeah. Why, why don't you take that job? Wonderful. Uh, how much are we losing due to having armies raised? Quite a lot. Yeah, you know what I'll do? I will put you on to organize army to reduce our raised army maintenance. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Yeah, it's effectively 16 gold a month that we uh, got there. Lovely. Right, uh, it's all in the 2000s, but that's okay. Just want to split up our army a little bit. There we go. Little splitting up of our army. And then gonna go one, two, uh, just shift click, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that'll do then. I think that's a spread out. I might have put two people on the same one. Nope, we're actually pretty good. Right, now we can resupply here. Great news. Okay. They're not going to attack us. If they do, we just uh, swarm. Yeah, yeah, if you attack us, we swarm. We have a son, Percy. So this is a son between us and our husband. Okay. Who is only intelligent. Alright, I guess there is a chance that your children are not guaranteed to pass on the genius trait. Interesting. We hadn't seen that up until this point. It must just be really high as a chance. We've just been unlucky. Okay. Maybe it's because usually you have the dynat. Maybe, yeah, maybe by the point where you're doing this, you usually have the dynastic stuff that increases the chance of good traits. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. Anyway. There's our proof that it doesn't matter whether they're concubine or not, I guess. Uh, that's a lot of troops you got there. Let's merge onto this one. Trying to go for the one that's central so that um, they can't pick us off. Right, wait for all the armies to get here. Central proposal. Nope. Team is fine to me. Right. Merge. We will lead. Attack. Let's go. That is a nice battle win for us. We have crushed them. Great to see. Still do not have the trait for being in this war. Maybe there must be something like if you join the war late, you don't get the trait or something. I don't know. Uh, you've created the Alsatian hybrid culture between Swavian and uh, Ossetian or Ossetan. That's fine. We don't really care. Thanks for letting us know, game. Wiped another army. Yeah, they have basically nobody left. They're going to de-siege over here, but we're going to siege quicker. Alright, get rid of those. Uh, so we should be able to siege this and then head over. Nice. Head over here. Let's go beat them up. Uh, yep, we're going to catch them. Oh, they're running, but we'll catch them in the next one, which is, I think, exactly what we did with the previous army that tried to siege that. Nice. Head over here. Uh, war contribution is definitely at max. That's fine. Uh, we're maxed out on battle war score, so it's just sieging uh, la that we need to do here. Wonderful. Head over here. And we'll get the siege. We've discovered manneralism. Manneralism. So that allows us to get economic buildings, which is great news. Also makes buildings quicker to uh, make. Hmm. 
let's grab ourselves. I'm just see if we have anything else that'd be useful in here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna grab myself the military buildings. It just seems like the obvious choice. Right, head over, win another siege. In the name of the divine, you can be cynical or just. Ah, he already got the other one from it, which is temperate. So cynical or just? Um, I think just is better. Yeah, it's at least a virtue. So he does have three virtues, which is, I guess, quite nice. Okay. Cool. Hey, another siege done. Head over this way. Let's pick another place and siege it. Prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, I'll definitely do that. Get ourselves some more money that way. Okay. Yeah, we got some favor hooks, but that's okay. We have a child, or a kinswoman has a child, Bodil. That's fine. A new learning perk will take restraint. Uh, this now means that we uh, want to skip know thyself, get healthy, and hold a body afterwards. Yeah. So we want to wait on that one. The reason why we want to do that is if you have know thyself and then it says you're going to die, you are then guaranteed to die rather than it being a... Um, like just a notifier that you can fix. If you get the health bonuses beforehand, you're less likely to get that notification that says you're going to die, which means, yeah, that you'll live for longer, basically. Right, let's go beat up some armies. Hey, this our son is now our friend. Nice. Attack in here. They're tr uh, chucking troops in here, which is lovely. I appreciate that from them. Giving us a little extra money uh, from beating them up. How much was that one worth? Yeah, like a thousand, uh, sorry, a hundred gold. I almost said a thousand gold. That would be pretty good. Right. Head down here. Let's see if we can win another uh, siege. Four months left. Yeah, we have to just do this one, I think. Yeva comes of age, as does care. So Yeva was the genius that we were educating. She became a fortune builder. So she only got a level 3 education. Kira came of age and he got um, skill tactician level 3 and forder. Wonderful. So he has these kind of stats. We also need to send him to the Varengian guard probably. And she needs to be a shield maiden. Um, can you say yes to that? Thank you. Still not quite as good as she could be but yeah, she's in a good position to start getting some, uh, yeah, some positions in here. So she can be a, la a lady in waiting. She can also be master of the horse. For now, where is she? Yeah, you can be my master of the horse. And you're also going to be my master of the hunt as well. Once I find where she is on the list, there we go. And she's going to take uh, the position of personal champion. Cool. Uh, I don't think she can be bodyguard and personal champion. No, that's fine. Executioner, we have somebody who can do that. Olga, my court physician, can be my uh, executioner. Sure. Just because we can. Right, wonderful. Uh, and then I also want to... Um, yeah, I also want to give her any artifacts I have that are remaining. Do I have any other artifacts? Uh, I actually don't currently. Okay, that's fine then. We'll find her someone to marry in a second. You know what we'll, we'll do here? Just... Oh, she's already on the side. I was going to say put Mark on the side just so we can get her married off. We would like her to be my heir as well if we can make that happen. I just don't know if we're going to be able to switch over yet. Can she lead an army? How good? How good is she? Uh, 20. She is not currently a knight, I think. But let's make her a knight. Let's just force that to happen. Yeah. You're going to lead this army? Where are we? I need to wait a second, maybe. There we go. That should be a tick forward. She should now be eligible to be here. 
on this list. Uh, our son is eligible, but I'm more looking for her. Player, heir, no. Son, no. Daughter, there we go. So I was hoping that that is going to give her that trait. The one that we're not getting. Doesn't appear to be giving it to her any more than it's giving it to us. Okay, uh, let's just clear out that... Uh, yeah, search as well. That's fine. Because it usually gave you that trait very quickly if you were actually getting it. You've managed to de-siege up here. That's annoying. Keep chasing them down. Okay. Defeat yet another army. Uh, head up here. Going left. Perfect. That's where I want to go in the, f in, in the first place. Let's go. Uh, do I want to be friends with this person? Sure, why not? Doesn't cost me very much. This is where I wanted to go. So that's fine. And then we're going to stop chasing. We're just going to siege this on the way past. 30 day siege. What are my allies doing in this war? Who knows? Not relevant, is it? Uh, really? That's fine. We're pregnant with our concubine's child this time. Hey, a revolt appeared to stop them doing the... Uh, the uh, siege is perfect. Right. Oh, my allies siege something. Never mind, that's what my allies were doing. They were actively helping us win the war. It's crazy. Okay. It's okay. Head over here. Um. Yeah, join in. Okay. Yeah, you're going to head to this one. This is going to be a very... Actually, to this one, this is going to be a very quick siege. It's a tribal hold. Yeah. So, let's siege it. Okay, I would like one that I'm in charge of. Hey, Soldier of the Elk. We just got Uko's Hammer. Wonderful. Uh, let's now make our... <laughs> Where are we? Dynasty Oster... Daughter. There you go. <laughs> I put her in charge of the army. In the hopes that she can now get that perk. Ah, uh, yeah. We don't want Know Thyself just yet. We have another daughter. Naula, who is a genius. Wonderful. Display of cowardice. Oh, my. I didn't... Okay. It wasn't a display of cowardice. I was just trying to share the trait around. <laughs> please give me the trait back, please. I would really appreciate getting the trait back. Oh, apparently we had a display of cowardice. My bad. Victoria's Great Holy War. And now, now Mia is now taking over uh, this land. Wonderful. Be very careful to say that I want to focus back on my realm. Right, pause. Now we can have a look at the war. Okay, so... Uh, what's the new bit of land called? Oh, no, it's called Oghuz Il. Here. Caspian Steppe just happens to be another piece of land that exists. I see. Another place has changed their court language to Arabic. Holy Order has been hired by this guy to deal with a war that he's defending against. Okay, that he literally didn't even realize he was in. Uh, yeah, so it's 3,000 versus 9,000. He should win that. That's okay. So who was rewarded? So this person, uh, they have got some land in here. They are the child of a, of a um, barony tier holder in uh, Vladimir. Okay. Whose heir is no longer, or who isn't that person and can never be that person because the barony tiers can't go out by themselves. It has to be county level or above. Okay, this guy got everything, so he has the whole uh, kingdom. Well done to him. And you received a uh, reward for the Holy War as well. You're barely related to anyone, but you are an Oster. Fantastic. Okay. And we didn't get the trait uh, because I decided to switch out and that didn't work. Wonderful. 
Need a guardian for my son. Oh no, we'll be the guardian for our son. Uh, what do you want to do? You want, yeah, diplomacy seems good. Also, I'm sure that you would love to have the stubborn trait because it's virtuous. See if we can make that happen. Um, reopen this. You, Rangian guard for you. You, I can't send you to the Vrangian guard. You can only send one every two years. Oh, well, guess you can go in a couple of years. Uh, you need to marry. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Remove you from the list. Actually, where were we? You know, you need to be on the list because you're a potential heir. No, you're not a potential heir. You're 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 not the person we're other one we're educating. That's fine. You need to go to the Varengian Guard. You need to be married. Right. Um, who do we want to marry my daughter here? Um, I don't know. Let's see what our options are. Maybe this is the time to try and put in Amazonian. Sorry, Herculean in here. Let's go Herculean. And I don't know. Let's see somebody with high martial or something. Remember this guy? He's 20. He's Herculean. He seems like he'd be good. His stats aren't actually that impressive, but he would be an okay champion. Yeah, let's bring this guy in. I think that could be interesting. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that could be fine. Right. Uh, I know that it's gonna lower her prestige slightly by her marrying down, but that's okay. She's gonna she's gaining quite a lot of prestige anyway, and has quite a lot of money and other such things to increase things. Right. Army. Disband. It's okay. Uh this is all fine. Extort subjects. Okay. Hey, he became stubborn. That's fantastic. Um, I will make this person dislike me by 40 and gain uh, 500 gold off of them. I am then going to send them some money and we still end up ahead. We also have a thousand, uh, we have 2,000 gold right now. Wonderful. I can vassalize Messen. Wait, Messen's over here, right? Why can, wait, why can I vassalize you? Just because you're a de jure within my lands? Um... My high legitimacy, uh, intimidated, military strength. Yeah, he's, he's just willing to do it. All right, well, welcome to the team. That's fine. Um, what's Messen does your part of? Sorbia. Oh, you want to convert? Yeah, okay, cool. Seems fine to me if they're willing to just convert. You know, no issues. No issues whatsoever. So he should now convert his own little bit of land there. Nice. Uh, next, what do we need to do? Prisoners can be ransomed. How many prisoners do I have left? 21? Yeah, I'm just going to hit that ransom button. That's fine. Getting a bunch of favor hooks because a lot of them weren't money that we were getting. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> so many favor hooks. Uh, anyone actually got money? Nope. Oh, okay, let's demand conversion. It would be really nice if you could say, instead of that, like, I want to offer everyone demand conversion. If they accept, they can leave. That would be a really useful button. I think that would be a reasonable button to have. But, anyway... It doesn't exist, as far as I'm aware, so that's fine. I'd be sure there must be a mod for it. There's a mod for all sorts of things, but anyway. That's fine. Go through all of those. Wonderful. So they've now all converted. Great. Okay. Now, we get to chill for a second, gain some of that. How long till we can go to university again? 
university cannot be hosted for 10 years. Okay. Hosting a university visit will be unavailable for 20 years. Ah, so in another 10 years we can do it. I understand. I thought it was a 10 year uh, timer, which is why I was confused. Uh, we should hold a grand tournament because that will increase development in... Let me double check which one now. Probably this one still. Yeah, in Osel. That would be good. Uh, we should hold court. Let's do that. Open carry. Um, we'll solve the safety debate with violence. That's fine. Hero of the Frontier. This hero, who goes by the name Jeditus, has been defending small folk in the Kimic, uh, from the Kimic Raiders and has now traveled away to Holmgarther to seek an audience with me. Um... You can draw my court. Uh, we can give him a position worthy of his skills. Uh, which would give him land. You should be honored as the hero you are or your impertinent peasant. You can have a position within my court. Because you're really good. You're an organizer who is a flexible leader. You have great prowess and you have great martial. So yes. You can have a position in my court. Noble privileges. Uh, you want to establish your own mints with royal approval for the good of Gartheriki. Uh, so you can mint your own coinage. We get a hook on you and you get coinage ranks granted. Okay. We can try and get a Pomeranian sword out of him for it. Um, only if your borders are never altered. So it gets you forced partition. Change for greater commitments. Or is it not enough to be king? You can do this. I think this is fine. Uh, their development growth in realm capital goes up, but the realm capital is the same, um, I believe. Let me just double check that's the case, actually, before I say it. But their realm capital should be my um, culture, right? No, the realm capital is, in fact, Finnish. Because it, oh, it was this bit. Their old realm capital is my culture. I see. I think we're fine with this. Yeah, we just need to convert his capital. I accept. Okay. We only lose 2% development growth. It's not a huge deal. Uh, we can demand payments uh, from people who have money. How much does it cost us? Only 16 stress. Let's grab a couple of these 50s while we're here. Just to uh, top up our coffers. Just wait for uh, it to glitch up and down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That seems good. Um, okay. Could hold a grand tournament. Grand tournament, grand tour, and pilgrimage. These are three options. Pilgrimage will get us two learning. Yeah, because we get learning for holy sites visited in pilgrimages. We should do a pilgrimage. Let's do a quick one. Uh, it doesn't matter what we're doing, because we're only going to Kexel. Which is a holy site, right? That is a holy site. Yeah, so we're only going here. It's not like we're going on a long pilgrimage. Don't need this. Don't need this. Um, that's the only option. Uh, we could bring a lot of pil. Every interested character at court joins us. Yeah, let's let's bring a throng. Our goal is. Zealotry to share our faith with others. Let's go. Wonderful. Literally, all we're doing is walking here and coming back. Um, Sorbia has lost a war against Holstein. Okay. We have arrived. This gets us Pilgrim, which is nice. I wonder whether we've got the uh, two learning yet from arriving here. So Pilgrim in of itself gets you a bunch of bonuses. So we should have two from... I should go and figure out what that thing is so that we can prove that we got it. So that is this one, right? Not this one. This one? Yeah. Uh, walking the Sacred Path. Two learning per unique holy site of your faith visited. Okay. And... We have visit, so yeah, we don't currently have that, so it must be at the end here. It's a four-month pilgrimage. Um, also, I'm just going to reopen that fully so it's permanently open. 
Um, as I stroll through the streets of Kexholm, I stop in front of a small temple. The building is comparatively bland and humble, but a small crowd of pilgrims are gathered in front of it. When I move in closer, they are scratching their heads trying to make sense of the plaque next to one of the Guardian statues written in a foreign language. I will translate it. Because our learning stat is insane. There we go. Ask to promote legend. You want me to start promoting Uko's Hammer King? No. Okay. Uh, talking of legends. Uh, we still don't have the ones we're after. Oh, we don't have a Court Chronicler currently. Oh, no. Well, let's uh, put in our player Aaron's sister currently as Court Chronicler. Yeah, you should be looking for things to do. Oh, right. She died. Sorry. Uh, I forgot that one. So that is where? This one? So you're now our new person. Double check that you still have the Vassal Contract. You still have March. Okay. Uh, we could actually change your Vassal Contract. We could lower your levies. And your taxes. And give you coinage rights. If we're still trying to boost this guy, let's do that. So we're getting nothing from him anymore. Which does hurt us slightly. But the reason why we're doing that is we're trying to give them every opportunity they can have to expand outside their own realm. But we'll see what we can do there. Need a guardian for my son. Uh, I mean, we would be a good guardian, but obviously we're already a guardian of too many children right now. Let's give you a learning education, and you can be educated by... Oh, you, you managed to grab Uko's hammer. But well, that might have been in the previous Holy War. Who knows? Uh, I don't think my player... A well, yeah, you know what? My player air is going to educate you. That's fine. Um, head back over here. We have a little bit of stress to spare. We could get some more money if we needed to. But that's okay. Appreciation. I do not have the Xenophilic tra uh, tradition. So we will simply become more pious. Which gets us to piety level 1. There's a disease? Really? Where? Hmm? No, there isn't. There's one up here. Well, there's one up here. Which isn't really a problem. Also, I just noticed that you, you've kind of expanded up here, which is the wrong place for you to have expanded. We're going to have to sort that out at some point. Right. Uh, back to the pilgrimage. 20 days left. The calling. Uh, my lady, I have something to ask from you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul and agitated my spirit in a way I thought is impossible. You would like to uh, become a monk here. Mm. Don't we have temples back home? <laughs> I say. Yeah. Okay. Conclusion. It's been an honor. We gain poverty's journey, which gets us holy order higher costs down. We get pilgrim trait experience, and we get some legitimacy, and we get some piety. Nice. A duck. Follow the duck. There's a wild duck chase again. Okay. Heading back. Uh, do we have our two learning yet? Nope. We do not have our two learning yet for being for a visiting here. Uh, so let's wait till we finish our trip. Thank you for the 75 gold. Uh, do we want to fight this guy? Nope. I will walk over him. That's okay. We have returned. We get more wanderer experience. I think we were already maxed, so that's good. Right. And we're back. I did not gain it. Wait a second or two. Shadow over Coda will summon our court physician. See what they can do. Um, we have not gained any learning. What do you want us to do? Radical action. We'll do it for desperate measures. Uh, train for a tournament. Sure. Is there a tournament I can join? Um, no. <laughs> I could train for my own tournament, I guess. It failed. Okay. As well as taking a tremendous toll on the economy, Olga's treatments have led to countless lives being lost. The peasants, already weak from the ravages of disease, couldn't withstand the onslaught of bloodletting and leeches. 
This loss of life seems to have brought with it an increase in the spread of the disease, as the miasma clings to the corpses and infects the lungs of the healthy. And chastise them. You get botched for 10 years. Minus 20% holding taxes. We all knew the risks you're forgiven. Put her under lock and key, or this traitor deserves to die. Um, chastised is good. Let's, let's chastise them. Okay, where's the actual disease? It's over here, but somehow we lost 20% holding taxes over this way. That's fine. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Right, we're still working on the other perk here. So, did I just not gain the plus two? Am I crazy? Do I already have it? Let me just double check what this is. So, just to read it again. Gain two learning per unique holy site of your faith visited, up to a maximum of ten. This is a unique holy site of my faith. We visited on a pilgrimage. Why did that not count as visiting it? Any ideas? Mm, not sure. Uh, don't see it on the list. I won't spend too long on it in case I'm just missing something, but hover over a couple of these ones. I think it's just bugged. It's probably to do with us um, reforming the faith. That'd be my guess. It probably just doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, no reason to do more pilgrimages, essentially. Well, unless we want to get up to, like, the plus one learning. What's the second level get you? Plus two learning, so it gets plus three learning overall. Uh, we could go on another pilgrimage, I suppose. I'd like to go on a pious pilgrimage. I'd like to go here. This definitely is a holy site of our faith. We can now choose to go on to a contemplative one. Just lowers travel speed, sure. We'll bring every interested character again. And we'll do a zealotry one again. Let's go. Right. Head over this way. Foreign treat. Um, you want to leave my court? I will let both of you be in my court. That's fine. Zealotry unfamiliar pilgrims. We've encountered many Ukonusko pilgrims on our route thus far, and all have been pious and devoted to Uko's will. However, we soon come into the company of a group of strange travellers from distant lands. They introduce themselves as old Ukonuskos, and tell us that this route is sacred to their people too. So you may take this journey, which makes us- or only Ukonuskos may take this journey, which makes us more pious. Okay, it's a chance that she converts to our faith. Let me tell you how to worship old Uko. Okay. Or no, tell me how you worship old Uko. I'm reading these the wrong way around. That gets us a 50% discount if you want to switch. Or, you should join us. Nope. This is only for uh, Ukonuskos. Failed to convert, but we still gained the uh, more pious stuff. That's okay. Neighboring ruler won a war. Uh, do you want this guy? Nope. I'll leave him to his fate. Uh, that was Volga Bulgaria won a war, apparently. Or there was a war for Volga Bulgaria? That'd be over here. That must have been you who won the war. Okay. How are you doing in your wars? You're about to lose in that war where you had significantly more troops? Well, that's unfortunate for you. Neighboring ruler lost war, war, war resolved. Uh, yeah, so they've lost a, chi a chiefdom there. And that was another war that's uh, been lost by somebody, but that wasn't to my vassal, so we don't care. Right. One day till it begins. We have arrived. Okay. Do so we get 30 experience in the pilgrim trait for just for arriving, which is nice. Uh, so we're now significantly further through it, and we've already got quite a pious one here. My lady, you look like a refined gentlewoman. I know of a simply divine experience not far from Osel, which would surely be of interest to any dedicated pilgrim. I guess it's learning and a pilgrim trait? In divinity. Quite the distance outside of Osel, we come to a sudden halt. Our guide, Sumar Lithil, or Sumar Lithi, shows us a hidden passage and we end up in a small cavern, illuminated by the daylight falling through a hole in the roof. 
Through that very same hole, a truly remarkable wellspring pours serenely. The flowing water glows with a divine splendor and faint, misty rainbows color the air around it. I've never felt Uko's presence stronger than in this very spot. And it makes us more pi it gives us more pious pilgrimage as well. Hey, you promoted culture. We know exactly where we want to do the next one. Why did you hire things? Pe it's another uh, peasant revolt. Wonderful. Right, uh, up here, I need you to convert this one to our um, culture, and you need to be converting faith. Um, let's just see what we got here. Seeing if anyone has like a lot of land that needs converted. Um, what is this? Yeah, I just realized we have this random religion in the center of our lands. Who who holds that land? Smolensk does. Oh, yeah. Have a gift. Convert. They just converted that all on their own, huh? You can have a weak cook on me as you're nowhere near my vassal. You're like three tiers down. Okay. Well, that'll hopefully help us slightly. Right. Back to the pilgrimage. Three months till it ends. Ruler lost war in a reclaimed relics war. We have some stalls. We have a statue of um, Akras that we could potentially get. Become more pious for rejecting it. Uh, we can also become more pious if we get it. I don't need it. I'll, I'll uh, reject it and get the learning lifestyle uh, points. Right? So now we can get Know Thyself and immediately grab Healthy. Which means we effectively bypass the one year of natural causes thing. Or at least we may make it so that that natural causes would be further away because we have more health. And then we can get Holy Body in a second, which will be great. And it'll do the same thing. Our health is currently good. Nice. I'd like to see it. Okay, 47 days. We would like our piousness to go up slightly. Um, okay. A pilgrim puts down a votive doll before the altar, bowing her head. I see Jarl Ingrither blessing her, muttering something in her ear. Holy, I managed to hear. The shaman makes a gesture. Did you also bring something to have blessed, dear Empress? So I can say, please make my branch of life more pious. But it's something we can't even use really right now. I can say... Let everyone see the fame of it or have better things to do with my gold. I'll pay the 15 gold to make us have a more pious pilgrimage. Hopefully get to level 2. Level 2 would get us a lot more uh, trait experience. Wouldn't get, probably get us to the next level, but hey, we got an extra learning out of this whole process anyway. Did we gain 2 for coming here, by the way? Uh, We didn't. Oh, wait, maybe scholarship focus is what... No, that's just plus 3. No, we didn't gain two for coming here, as far as I can tell. Unless it goes into the base. We were at 51 and now we're at 53. Maybe it's just not telling us? But no, we also got plus one from Pilgrim, so we must have got another plus... And we got plus one from the event on the way here. Oh no, the Wellspring gave us plus one. This gives us plus one. Yeah, so no, we didn't get any, any more for coming here. That's fine. Just want to double check. Conclusion. Also, it's been an honor. We gained 15 in the experience pilgrim trait. Wonderful. Level of dedication to our, or devotion to our faith went up. And I gained a yet another most pious empress seed, which again does not matter. Yeah, because all of these are the same thing. So this allows you to evangelize things. And this is the exact same one. And this is the exact same one. So they're all just exactly the same. So unless we want to convert things quickly, there's not really a lot to do. Care, my son comes of age. Okay. Uh, he is an astute intellectual, level 3 learning. He also needs to go to the um, Varengian Guard. He can join the queue for the Varengian Guard behind his brother, Care. Okay. Go in one year to the Varengian Guard. Care returns. There's a different care. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Neighboring ruler lost war. Uh, not an important one. Okay. Of travels to come. Do not tell me the future. Nothing to do here. Anything in here? Uh, we have more people who can marry. Artifacts of low durability. 
So I will repair these two. That's fine. Realm will lose land if this person dies. Doesn't look like it'll lose land if they'll die. But I suspect that's because you can potentially inherit something else from somewhere. Yeah, you're probably this person's heir or something. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Right. That's fine. Chop, chop. I'm not going to take the event that allows us to chop off our leg. I really don't know what that event is about, but I'm sure it has some reference to something. Right. Um, I don't need a claim on that high chiefdom. And did we gain any more here? Scholarly Circle's given us two for learning. Just fine. I'm just trying to see why. So we are at 57, so something went up. Learn on the job. Um, yeah, so plus two per site visit. We're at 53, and now we're at 57. We got two from our devotion going up. Maybe we did get two from this. It just doesn't show up on the list. Yeah, maybe we did. I'm going to have to pay attention and do another pilgrimage at some point. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, our learning is insane. Base of nine. Minus one, eight, 16, um, 18, 23, 24. 29, uh, 31, 37, 40, 41, 46, um, of 47, 57. Those do line up. Those do add up. Yeah, I don't... What well, is learn on the job? That's why... Is, is that a perk? Learn... Oh, is this... Oh. That's... <laughs> ah. Simpler answer. Her learning went up, which meant that our learning went up. Ah, well, there you go. Mystery solved. Um, so no, it still it just doesn't work for some reason that's best known to the game. Yep, that is just useless. Okay, cool. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.